Hello there, Aries. Welcome to the magical land of make-believe. Let's see what treasure we can find for you today. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. Let's start with what's important to you. Okay, what is important to you? Well-being. Okay, your well-being is important. That is very good. So you might be taking care of yourself. You might um, eat very healthy, exercise, do what you need to do to stay healthy. Okay, that is important. Let's see what we have here. Seven of Swords. You might be, um, almost like you're moving on from some, um, some behavior that was not good for you. You're leaving that. Might be people, too, for your own well-being. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. You're, you're following your destiny. You're following what you think that you should be doing here. And we have here the full. A new beginning is coming in for you. So you, it's important that you follow what you need to do here. And get away from these bad energies, these negative energy. Because they're not good for your well-being. Okay. So now, let's see here. What's your inspiration? Okay, let's see what we have for your inspiration. We have here soak. Oh, yes. A nice, you like to take a nice long soak in a tub. Nice hot bowl bath or um, just immerse yourself and maybe in meditation. So this is very inspirational for you. Okay, it helps you. It clears your mind and inspires you. Let's see, let's clarify this. We have here the hermit. Yeah, this is like just going out on your own, seeking solitude within yourself, finding your answers. The answers that you seek are within yourself. So hermit, Virgo energy, healer, the teacher, the student. And then we have, oh, the ace of pentacles. This is bringing you in golden opportunities. Clearing your mind, clearing your soul, soul clearing your body. He's going to bring you in golden opportunities. And we have here, and also the King of Cups. So you might have someone around you that's very inspirational. Or this might be just bringing someone in because you're inspirational. So that so they're attracted to your energy. Oh, I just got a mean headache. Wow. Oh, look at this. We got the pliers pulling something out. Removing something. Wow, what a headache though. It was like over my um, left eyebrow. It's like a sharp pain. Oof. Okay, King of Cups. All right. That threw me for a little bit. Oof. That was painful. Okay, now we have here, what do you need to sacrifice? Okay. Now we do have someone that, I, I do feel like someone's coming in for you, though. There's someone that has a lot of love for you or will have a lot of love because maybe you didn't meet them yet. Okay, let's see about this sacrifice. We have here, you're sacrificing your perspective. Maybe you're changing your look on something. Maybe you realize that something wasn't looking, working out the way you thought it would by the way you're thinking about it. So if you change things, if you change the way you see things, things will change. So I think you might be changing your perspective. Maybe you feel like you had to sacrifice your perspective. I don't think so. I think you might just have to change it for a situation. Okay, let's see. We have here the Four of Swords. This is healing. It looks like you're going through a major healing at this time. Changing your diet or changing your exercise routine or, or taking more time out to treat yourself. Maybe you're going um, to the spa or maybe you're going um, someplace maybe to get like the, um, the salt caves to do a cleansing. Or maybe you are doing a cleanse. Okay, stuff like that. It feels like you're, you're working on yourself. Okay, then we have here eight of swords you know it's like you don't want to be stuck in feeling like you're stuck in something you're not because the eight of swords is always our imagination getting away with us, uh, getting away from us is here like this person's not really stuck they could take off the ties they could take off the blindfold and they can walk through the swords it's your whole perspective on something that you maybe you have to change it so you won't feel like you're stuck 
and we have and you'll move away from this energy that's what you're doing you're doing a cleansing you're doing a um you're you're going to understand more by doing the cleansing by doing the meditation yoga whatever you're doing here and then that's going to allow you to walk away from these things that aren't serving you so you're not sacrificing anything but self you know being stuck in this um, energy that really does not exist okay so now whoa that scared me <laughs> thunder okay now we have passion i wonder if that means something on the passion card whoa you're whoever you uh, are with next they're gonna make you thunder here <laughs> i mean a lot of passion it's gonna scare you it scared me okay let's see about this passion let's see we have here cornerstone so the passion is that you are the cornerstone you are what's holding everything together and you have passion for this you for, have passion for whatever you're doing I'm waiting for another boom <laughs> three of cups there might be some kind of get-together or teaming up with friends or doing something that you're very passionate about we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, to match the King of Cups. Okay, I tell you, there's a connection coming in here that's very strong. This King of Cups, may you don't re realize it now. I think you're the Queen of Cups, and your passion, your friendliness, you're you're having a good time, and knowing that you are someone someone depends on you're the cornerstone here, is um is attracting this person. I think. And we have here a calculator. Okay, so we have a calculator. Maybe someone is accountant. Or works with numbers or maybe someone is calculating something hmm cups that's weird I'm really expecting another boom <laughs> okay we have here the nine of cups yes okay this is all falling into place here whatever this is it's bringing you together with another person here that is you can bring your happiness here it's a nine of cups a wish fulfillment Okay, now let's see about the truth. What is the truth here? What do we have for the truth? Let's see. We have here the vulnerability. So maybe someone's worried about they're going to be vulnerable in a situation. Uh, we have here ritual. There's, there's a ritual that you like to do here. So that makes some that means something to someone here. Let me see. Let me clarify this truth with the vulnerability what is that all about we have here the knight of swords now the knight of swords comes rushing in failure is not an option the knight of swords comes rushing so someone might be coming rushing towards you with their truth maybe want to speak to you we have here all oh, this is wisdom they might even come at night so you're getting some kind of wise information coming in or wise a truth here Okay, Knight of Swords. Okay, what about this vulnerability? Let's get more into that. Why is that card here? And we have here, justice is going to be served. Okay, so there's going to be a truth spoken. There's going to be justice served. There might be a contract. Maybe someone's offering you a contract. Let's get one more. And we have here, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, speaking your truth here. Queen of Swords speaks their truth. Doesn't settle for anything less. There's going to be some kind of legality here. Maybe it's all going to work out. But someone's going to speak their truth. You might have to be vulnerable in order to do this. But it will work out. And then we have two on a bike. I don't know. I think you're teaming up. The King and Queen of Cups is coming together here. There's going to be some kind of connection here. It's very strong. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay, the bottom of the deck we have here the chariot. Okay, so something about someone's ritual here. Something that you like to do. There's something that you do all the time. There's something that you follow. And something is coming in quick for you. Cancer energy. Someone might be coming towards you very quick. I do feel like this energy here. Whoever this knight of swords is that's coming in to speak to you. It's coming in to help you with this justice, with this contract. It's coming in very quick. It might have something to do with something you do every day. Something that is a ritual for you. Okay, well, take it if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. Let's see here. What about this King of Cups? What's the scoop on this King of Cups? We have here gift. 
healing married karma okay so someone might be bringing you a gift I almost feels like there's a gift of healing karma married i don't know does that make sense to you maybe someone is married maybe you were married to this person before i think this person wants to get married and it feels like maybe you're getting the karma maybe you've been through a lot of bad connections and this is your payback this is the good connection coming in because this is a gift and it's healing okay what about the queen of cups before marry phone call okay so someone's going to contact you Well, that's kind of weird. Unless you get married right away, you're running off. And someone's saying, well, I'm going to call you before we get married. And this is strange. I don't know. Before married phone call. Or maybe there's someone from the past that called you before you actually. May they try to talk you out of getting married? Now, of course, it's not going to resonate with everyone. But someone contacted you before. Something about marriage. Whoever this is for. Okay, now what about this Knight of Swords? It'll make sense to somebody. I don't know who, but it'll make sense to someone. Okay, we have here finances, meeting, single. Yeah, this person's coming to an opportunity, a contract. So something to do with your finance. I'm going to get a clarifier and see if it makes sense. It might, it might not. And we have here something about money in a fist. Someone has money. Someone might be offering you some money here. Saying here, let's meet up. I have an offer for you. And maybe it's a single offer. You know? What about the Queen of Swords? We have always freedom denying. Maybe someone's always denying their freedom or huh, denying, always denying freedom. I'm not getting anything out of that, but if it's meant for you, you'll know what it means. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, now let's see. What signs can you be dealing with? What are the signs here? We have Libra. Well, that's the justice, right? Libra. Virgo. Leo. Leo again. Wow. Scorpio and Libra again. Wow. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Libra, Virgo, Leo, Leo, Scorpio, and Libra. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a male name, and you know that male name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have T, Y, U. L O K V J R S F. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are T Y U L O. Oh, sorry, this is not an O. This is a Q. But if you need an O, take it. I didn't see the little little thing there. <laughs> okay, let me start again. T Y U L Q K V J R S F and of course if you need the O since I said it you get an O too. Let's see. Who do we have for names here? We got eleven or more names. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if we could go right over here. Okay, Tramea, T R A M A Y A. We have of Ziz, A C I Z, Maria, and Chatel, S H A T E L, Kathy with a K, Bessie, okay, Christopher, Suzanne, Lorena. L O R E N A, and we have Tandra, T A N D R A, Gary with one R, and then we have 
Jamer, Jamar, J A M I E R. So we have three, six, nine. Oh, there goes the thunder again. Twelve. Twelve names. Okay, guys. Now remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments and really does help my channel. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you don't resonate with this reading, check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Sometimes you check out those other placements. It gives you that missing piece, that missing part of the puzzle that makes everything sort of click together for you. Also, at the end of each one of these readings, I always give you the link. The little thumbnail comes up, that picture. Click on that. It will bring you to the previous reading, which was a timeless reading of what you need to know. So if you want to check that out, just click on that. It'll take you right there. If not, I hope to see you in the next reading. But um, I just want to thank you guys. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.